The beloved department store chain Bradley's began as an idea in the late 1950s. Three businessmen met at the Bradley International Airport outside of Hartford, Connecticut, and envisioned a store that offered a wide variety of goods at discount prices. The new store was given the name Bradley's because of that first meeting location. The very first Bradley's opened in New London, Connecticut in 1958. The concept was a bit different than a traditional store, because Bradley's was composed of different departments, and each one of them was run by a different licensee. Within a few years, the store was struggling to make any profits. By 1961, a New England-based grocery chain named Stop and Shop bought the company and began to make changes that would help it become a profitable company. The acquisition infused much-needed money into Bradley's, and the company transitioned into direct ownership of all the various departments. This change to the business model gave Bradley's what it needed, and it began to thrive. By the end of the 60s, Bradley's was rapidly expanding, like many of the discount department stores of that era. By 1968, the company boasted 52 stores, which produced annual revenues of $139 million. Many shopping plazas in the Northeast began to feature both a Stop and Shop grocery store and a Bradley's, which created a one-stop shopping experience. Some Bradley's locations even had food counters for a quick bite to eat while you were out shopping. During the 1970s, Bradley's continued to grow around the Northeast. The store shifted some of its merchandise in an effort to become the retailer with high quality but still low-cost goods. Clothing and accessories also became a larger part of their retail floor space. In response to a new trend of do-it-yourself home improvements, the company also began to devote more space to hardware and housewares. By the end of the 1970s, Bradley's sales had risen to over $500 million. The company entered the 1980s, positioned to compete with the likes of Walmart and Kmart. Bradley's sales rose steadily throughout the early 1980s, peaking at over $800 million in 1982. During the late 1970s through the 1980s, you might remember commercials for Bradley's. These television ads featured actress Cynthia Harris as Mrs. B, a bargain hunting buyer for the stores. The jingle went like this, at Bradley's, you buy what Mrs. B buys, and nobody can buy like Mrs. B. During the 1980s, Bradley's was all about opening new stores in new regions. They bought out Memco stores in the Washington, D.C. area, Jefferson Ward stores in Philadelphia, and Two Guys stores across New Jersey, which widened their footprint from Virginia all the way to Maine. Things were going pretty good for Bradley's, but its parent company, Stop and Shop, was dealing with a hostile takeover that led them to pursue a buyout that took the company private. This left the company riddled with debt, and Bradley's would be used to pay some of that debt down by selling off 37 locations in their southern region. Following the financial turmoil with Stop and Shop, Bradley's ended the 1980s by implementing new ad campaigns, modernizing stores, and improving customer service. In 1992, Stop and Shop ended up spinning off Bradley's as its own public company. And they did have some success on their own, with a strong Christmas season at the end of 1992, but it was short-lived. Bradley's started to run into their own financial problems the next year, and they were forced to close more stores. By 1995, Bradley's was unable to survive against the stiff competition from retailers like Walmart and Target and they ended up filing for bankruptcy that year. The last remaining Bradley's department store closed its doors in March of 2001. Retail experts saw many factors that played into the company's failing. A weak recovery following the first bankruptcy, 
tougher competition, a slowing economy, and the nail in the coffin was unseasonable weather that hurt apparel sales in early 2000. A company that once boasted over 15,000 employees and over 100 locations was no more. As you look around your town, you might find a Walmart, Kohl's, or a Home Depot where your local Bradleys once stood. Although they disappeared decades ago, the chain still lives on through the hearts of many to this very day. The discounts, the food, and the variety made it a popular shopping spot for years, especially in the northeastern part of the United States. Let me know in the comments your own memories of Bradley's, the department store with a difference. If you enjoyed this video, check out the description for links that help support the channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching.